this eggplant curry is so delicious and it's so creamy from the coconut cream and it's worth trying out hi and what's up in today's episode i'm going to bring you along as i make my lunch and it's going to be all vegetable recipe there's no meat so it's going to be light but delicious so stay tuned until the end of the video and learn how to make this amazing recipe so in this recipe i'm going to be using eggplant this is eggplant and it's going to be i know most of you don't usually buy eggplant but it's going to be so delicious so go and buy some eggplant and if you have some in the house in the refrigerator try out this recipe so without further ado i'm going to move over to the stove top and on medium heat i'm going to add some oil then next i'm going to add in my onion i'm using one medium onion star then i'm going to saute these for around one minute until soft when my onions start softening up i'm going to be adding a few spices with me i have curry powder garam masala turmeric and cumin and over here i have black pepper salt and one red cube yeah so i'm going to add this in my pan give it a stir then i'm going to be adding in my black pepper I love black pepper <laughs> so for the salt i'm not going to add at this point because i'm going to be adding my rojo cube so i'll stir and because it and because my onions are ready i'm going to add in tomatoes i'm using two tomatoes and you'll find all the ingredients listed in the description box down below stir add a little bit of tomato paste about half a tablespoon of tomato paste stir in the tomato paste and then i'm going to let my tomatoes cook until soft so i'm going to add in a little bit of water so that my tomatoes can cook too i'm going to be adding in one large carrot Stir in and let the carrot cook together with the tomatoes. So as my tomatoes cook, I'm going to be peeling my eggplant because my kids don't love the skin of the eggplant. So my eggplant is not that fresh, but because it was in the fridge, I decided to show you a very nice recipe. Check on my tomatoes, give them a good stir. Try and mash up the tomatoes as they cook. My eggplant is ready, so I'm going to give my eggplant a rough chop, just medium sizes. And don't worry about the discoloration. There's nothing you can do about that. Then I'm going to add this in my pan. Stir in. Then I'm going to add in a little bit of water, like a splash of water. This is just to avoid burning because I can notice that my pan is drying out. 
and once the water is combined with the eggplant i'm going to add in my rojo cube i'm using one because it is a recipe for about two people yeah <laughs> you know during the weekday uh it's, it's always two people in the house two people me and my nan so this is our lunch for today Stir in the record cube and then I'm going to let this cook for a couple of minutes. So this is how it's looking. It's been simmering for about two minutes. I'm going to give this a stir. I added in a little bit of more water so that my eggplant could cook. So after two minutes, my eggplant is already very soft. So I'm going to add in my coconut cream. And let me tell you, this is going to be so good. Stir. Look at that change of color. Then I'm going to reduce the flames to low and let my eggplant curry simmer for a couple of minutes. My eggplant curry has been simmering for around five minutes on low. So I'm going to give this a stir and it's ready also. So I'm ready to serve. I'm going to turn off the heat. Almost forgot the coriander. My eggplant curry is ready and I'm going to surely enjoy each and every bite. And I'm going to pair my delicious and simple meal with cumin rice and I know it's going to be a hit. So thank you so much for watching and catch you on my next one. Bye!